so I just wanted to ask what the procedure will be after the petitions are delivered. Sure. After the petitions are filed with the Board of Elections, our staff here will uh, review the petitions and uh, make sure that they are sufficient. We do check every signature. Um, the uh, voter or whomever signs has to be a qualified elector in the district. And once uh, that process is completed, uh, we will uh, notify both those that filed the petition um, as well as the person who's the subject of the recall. Okay. And if there are sufficient signatures? If there are sufficient signatures, um, the subject of the recall has five days um, to resign. And who would they, who would Mark notify that he is resigning? That's, he would notify um, the City of Loveland as well as the Board of Elections. So um, correct, correct. If he would resign during that five day period, then an election will not be held. If he does not resign during that five-day period, um, then an election um, will be held this November. The, if the petition is sufficient, the question will be on the November ballot. If the mayor does not resign within five days, then other candidates, once the uh, petition um, is, has been determined to be sufficient, then other candidates uh, may uh, submit nominating petitions uh, to run. And what would be the deadline for people to submit petitions to run for that seat? The deadline is, is, is 20 days prior to Election Day. Okay. So it's basically when the ballots are printed, when they need to be printed. So doesn't that eliminate, um, what do you call it, the, the ballots you get in the mail? Absentee ballots, Absentee ballots. Um, that, that, that is an issue. This, that is an issue that we um, are discussing um, and we'll have that conversation with legal counsel on how to handle that.